ALABAMA SENATE CANDIDATE JUDGE ROY MOORE IS DIGGING IN HIS HEELS AGAINST ACCUSATIONS OF SEXUAL MISCONDUCT WITH YOUNG WOMEN BACK IN THE 1970s. AS MOLA LINGI REPORTS, MOORE SAYS THE CLAIMS ARE NOT TRUE AND HE REFUSES TO DROP OUT OF THE SENATE RACE. This article is a prime example of fake news. Judge Roy Moore says he's going to sue the Washington Post over its report in which four women claim Moore sought romantic or sexual relationships with them when they were teenagers and he was in his 30s. The four accusers confirmed their allegations to CBS News. Lee Korfman says she was 14 when Moore initiated a sexual encounter with her. Moore says the claims are designed to derail his campaign to win a seat in the Senate. To think that grown women would wait 40 years to come before, right before an election, to bring charges is absolutely unbelievable. Yeah. Judge Moore is refusing to drop out of the Senate race, despite pressure from many establishment Republicans to do so. The accusations have more credibility than the denial. I think it would be best if Roy would just step aside. Three conservative senators have already rescinded their support of Moore over the allegations of sexual misconduct. Am I going to believe a lie in liberal media? No. Speaking outside a campaign event in Huntsville last night, Moore supporters insist he's still going to win. Keep watching the state of Alabama. We've got our game on. We're going to send Roy Moore to the U.S. Senate, and we're going to have an impact in national politics for years to come. Moore faces Democrat Doug Jones in a special election on December 12th. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, Capitol Hill. And just in, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell also calling for Moore to step aside in light of the recent allegations. He had previously said that Moore should step aside if the allegations were true. McConnell now says he believes the young women and says that Republicans are looking at a write-in option in Alabama.